Hi, in this beginner's guitar lesson, I'll show you how to play a G seventh chord, also known as a G dominant seventh chord, and I'll show you two ways. Let's go. What is a G seven chord, I hear you ask? Well, it's also known as a dominant seventh chord, and it's a chord that you'll hear a lot in blues, a lot in rock and roll, and of course in many pop songs too. It's a chord that adds color, it adds tension to a chord progression, but don't confuse it with a G major seventh chord. Very, very different chords and will add very, very different sounds. A G major seventh chord is a slightly more jazzy chord. Hi, I'm Dave, and if this is your first time to my Guitar for Beginners channel, then thanks for dropping by. It's great to have you here. How do you actually form a G7 chord? Well, let's start by looking at the G major chord. The G major chord is like this, and if you need help with that chord, there's a link in the description. Now, to go to the G7 chord, now watch closely, this could be pretty difficult. We remove the fourth finger, put the first finger on the first fret of the top E string, and we get a sound something like this. Okay, so that's the basic shape, going from G to G7. Just that one finger changing, the fourth finger lifting up, the first finger going down on the first fret. That's why I favor you playing the G major chord with these th three fingers here, the fourth finger here, second finger here, and third finger there, because it's much, much easier to go from there to there. Some players play the G, the G major chord like this, or like this, but going from this position to this position is much, much more difficult for a beginner. So I always recommend this position for the G and then to play a G7, it's not much of a stretch. So I made it look a little simple going from this G to this G7 chord, but for some beginners, the G major chord itself is still a bit of a stretch. So an easier way to play the G is just with the th either the third finger or the fourth finger on the third fret of that top E string. Now for this easy version of G, I prefer to use the third finger because there's much more, for me I find it a lot easier to press down when I'm only using one finger. So we'll play it like this and you'll notice that my thumb has come over here to kind of dampen these two strings because we don't want to be playing those. And so for the easy G, like so, to the G7, you're still just going to put that one finger on. like that. And you're still dampening the two bottom strings there. So if we try switching back and forth between those chords, that's a pretty cool sound. If you're getting value out of this, please hit the like button. The G7 chord is more often than not followed by a C major chord. And in a lot of songs, you'll hear this change like this. Changing to and from the C chord is quite straightforward as there aren't too many changes here. The first finger is moving across to the B or the second string, like that, while the second and third fingers are moving towards, as it were, to the fourth and fifth strings, but at the same frets. Obviously, the reverse is true when going the other way. So, like this, here's the G7, and here's the C. So as you can see there, not a massive amount of uh, movement on the fretboard. Okay, now here's a bit of Beatles trivia. Uh, Paul McCartney's first ever song was called I Lost My Little Girl, and it uses G, G7, and C. And I'm gonna play a little bit for you. Have a listen to this.
Well, I woke up late this morning, my head was in a whirl. It's only then I realized. And so on, and so on, and so on. <laughs> Now John Lennon did a really cool version of that during the filming of Let It Be, but I think he uses A, A7 and D. And his version I think is a lot cooler. Now also, if you're playing a 12 bar, the last four bars might incorporate seven chords like this. Now, how are you playing your G chord? Like mine or with a different fingering? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to connect. Check out the other seventh chord lessons in the description and hit that notification button for more content just like this. And if you're still watching, why not type in the comments, I can play a G7 chord. Thanks very much. I'll see you in the next lesson.